7.37. So, technically, it's still real early in the morning yet, but um, since 5.40, uh, we had birds directly behind us. We had birds out here on our left, birds straight in front of us, like everywhere pretty much to our opposite side here, everything behind me on this field edge just back of this. It's this huge steep bank off this field and the birds have been absolutely just roosting everywhere along the edge of it. We've been hunting down in this bowl the last couple days and we've had some close calls. We've, we've worked multiple toms. We had two birds come running in at like 80 and hang up. But now, uh, we, like I said, we tried getting up here on this field and thought maybe that, you know, these birds come up in here while we were right. And I definitely didn't get it on video. You might be able to see it a little bit, but the camera angle's a little lower than my head was. But we had a, I called a single tom up into the field and he was literally only 10 steps away from seeing our decoy and cresting over the hill. And I think if you would have seen the decoy, he would have just absolutely came right in. But that's hunting. That's what makes it fun. Uh, it's definitely tough, but so he faded back off uh, below this little hill here. And uh, all of a sudden we started hearing a hen come up and two jigs and uh, ended up coming out into the field with them and they hung out for a while and they went silent and then just out of the blue Drew and I were saying about maybe making a move and we got out to the decoy and they cobbled right behind us at like 70 yards. So we ran back into the same setup underneath this autumn olive here and uh, I mean worked those birds for every bit of a, an hour straight this morning trying to get them to come in. Um, but, you know, they didn't want to, they weren't committing and I didn't want to sit here and keep calling out them. And the other thing too is we're on extremely pressured game lands. I think Drew and I might have heard just as many hunters this morning as we have live turkeys. Drew and I just don't got the turkey riz. <laughs> just can't riz up these turkeys. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Oh. 
Whisker! That's a big old boy. Yes, sir, dude. Guess who just got their first turkey kill film, baby? Got it all on footage. They came running right in. Drew? He's the younger Tom. He's good though. Oh! Thank you, Lord. Drew and I have busted our butts. <coughs> we busted our butts out here this year trying to get a, seal the deal on one of these birds. And yesterday, Hello? that bird was in this field. Hello? We needed 10 more steps. And guess what, baby? We got it done today. Thank you to the good Lord, baby. It's a beautiful morning. What time is it? it Six. Is. Six. It's like right after six o'clock, killed him right off the roost. Two toms came running in. 30 or 40, something like that. Were you using your gun? Yeah, I use a 20 gauge. See? You don't need to get a semi. <laughs> <laughs> We've been hunting here for what? Four, this is our fourth day in this area. Pretty fifth. Fifth. Fifth time hunting. Well, my sixth, your fourth. Yeah. yeah. So we've been here a good bit, figuring these birds out. We pretty much found where they roost, pretty much. So today we set up pretty close to where we did yesterday out in this field. We put the decoys probably like 50 yards, I'd say downfield more, because yesterday they were, as he said, 10 steps from seeing the decoy. So today we adjusted. He's just got some pretty colors on the decoy now. So yeah, we set up 50 yards further down the field to where we saw him come out yesterday. Where we were sitting this morning, I was pretty much right under one. 5.38 was the first gobble. What time, or how far were you? How far was it from you? The bird was probably 40, 35, 40 yards oh from me. Oh my goodness. Roosted that close to you? I thought it was like 70 yards from you. There's no way. It was like 50 maximum. That thing yeah. was so close. That's it fun. was like right behind me. Oh, that's cool. I can't believe we didn't spook him this morning. So yeah, he called. Two, two gobblers came running in to the decoys. And we almost biffed the first shot, but we, we secured the bag. Good job, buddy. First ever turkey, baby. Public land. This man grinded it out. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this video just as much as I did today. Um, I love being able to uh, have the opportunity to take somebody else uh, out hunting who hasn't been able to a harvest or be on a hunt before. And we got that done today with Drew and he got his very first turkey. And hopefully there is many more to come in the future for him, myself and Kearney. We have a little bit of time left this week. It's still early in the week and I think I might stay a few more days trying get one more so we'll see what happens but uh, for now we got a bird down on camera uh, finally it's about time we needed a video so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I will catch you all on the next one big sniff out big sniff out <laughs>